C, D, E, F, G, H, I, I want A plus B, because it's so much fun, it's a education for you and everyone, so come along. Learn some grammar, learn a phrase, learn something new every day, learn the A plus way. Hi everyone, and welcome back to A Plus English. I'm Pat. I'm Kathy. And today we'll be discussing day three of our story article, "The Old Man and the Sea" by Ernest Hemingway. Now we left Santiago fighting to get this big fish in his boat. Will Santiago catch the big fish and bring it back to land? Thinking of that, let me ask you: Did you ever do something difficult by yourself, and what did you do? By myself.、Mm, by yourself.、Um, okay. Most of the things I would do by myself are related to writing.、Um, I have done something almost every November for the past eight or nine years.、Mm-hmm. I write, try to write fifty thousand words of a story in November. Wow. In a month.、Uh, so wow. far, I think I've tried it seven times, and I've <laughs> succeeded every time. Um, that is but that, amazing, that, and that you、wow. have to do by yourself. You just have to write the words. How about you? Well, I remember one thing that was very difficult for me when、mm-hmm. I、uh, it was the first year after graduating from college. Right. I went into a company that sells machine components,、mm-hmm. and I had to communicate with foreign clients about the price of the products, and also had to try to understand all of their products within two weeks. And because my boss was always traveling around the world, no one had time to teach me anything. So、oh. I had to figure out all of it on my own. It was definitely something difficult. Right. Well, that's hard. So is what Santiago is trying to do.、Mm-hmm. Will he catch the fish? Let's read on and find out. The old man and the sea. Warm-up question. Did you ever do something difficult by yourself? What did you do? After three days of fighting, the marlin gets tired. Santiago pulls it close and kills it with a harpoon. He thinks, "My bad luck is finally over. Wait until everyone sees my amazing catch." Soon after. Sharks smell the marlin's blood and follow the boat. Santiago tries to fight them off, but they eat the marlin. Santiago only brings the fish's giant bones back. He is very tired, so he doesn't tell anyone the story about the marlin. Manolin sees Santiago and brings him coffee and a newspaper. Santiago falls asleep and dreams of lions at play on a beach. Finally, finally, Kelly finished all of her homework. Finally, she could take a break. Kelly finished all of her homework. Finally, she could take a break. Follow, follow. The dog walked behind James. And followed him all the way to his house. The dog walked behind James and followed him all the way to his house. Giant, giant. Look at that giant dog! It's nearly as big as a horse. Look at that giant dog! It's nearly as big as a horse. Bone, bone. Alan broke a bone in his hand when he fell off his bike. Alan broke a bone in his hand when he fell off his bike. 认识智慧 Harpoon. 
Amazing. The third day of our article begins, and we see that some time has passed.、Mm. As it says, after three days of、oh、fighting, the marlin gets tired. <laughs> Now, I'm not sure if this is actually a, something that could really happen,、mm-hmm. uh, but it's a story. So, for three days, he's just pulling and pulling and pulling. You know, no one's stopping for a break. It's just a fight, and finally, the fish gets tired. 嗯，在经过三天的奋斗之后，这条枪鱼呢，终于感到疲累了。Three days.、Yeah. That's crazy. It is a huge fishing fight, <laughs> and this is what happens. Santiago pulls it close and kills it with a harpoon. A harpoon is a kind of weapon used by sailors to kill fish, whales, and other things in the water. It's like a spear, but it has、mm-hmm. several sharp hooks on it,、mm-hmm. and because it's got hooks, they allow you to pull the fish close to the boat after you've killed it, so it doesn't sink to the bottom of the sea as soon as it's dead. 嗯，我们来看接下来的情况如何。文章这里说呢，圣地亚哥把这条枪鱼拉近，然后用鱼叉把它杀死了。Harpoon 就是鱼叉，大家应该有看过一些电影里面有一些水手用 harpoon 杀掉鱼的画面。这里指的就是那样。那另外有一种捕鲸炮，我们叫做 harpoon gun。嗯哼。So what happens now? The article says he thinks my bad luck is finally over. Now let's take a look at that word finally. F I N A L L Y. Finally, and as you can probably guess from the ly ending, it's an adverb. It's today's first word power word. Finally is used to mean after a lot of time has passed. It's also saying that it's the last thing or the final thing that happens after a number of other things have already happened. We often use the word finally to mean it's kind of a relief that this last thing has happened at last. Here's an example. Kelly finished all of her homework. Finally, she could take a break. Kelly finished all of her homework. Finally, she could take a break. 课文例句说呢 ，Kelly 完成她所有的作业，她终于可以休息一下了。所以呢，就在圣地亚哥用鱼叉叉死这条枪鱼的同时，他心里就想：我的厄运终于要结束呢。Finally, it's over. 大家可以揣摩那种心情。For example, if you have been preparing for a big test for two weeks, and the moment you finish it, you will definitely have this kind of feeling, like it's finally over. 情绪上面呢是比较激烈的。Santiago also thinks. Wait until everyone sees my amazing catch. We use "until" to mean up to the point or the time that we mentioned. So, kind of what Santiago is thinking is, when people see my catch, they'll be amazed. And here, catch means the fish itself. It、mm-hmm. means the thing I caught. Here, 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 意思指的是捕捉的方式，还有与这条枪鱼呢战斗的过程。然后他怎么样用鱼叉把它杀死？整个过程，他觉得等所有人知道之后呢，看到他惊人的捕捉，必定会惊讶不已，然后觉得他非常厉害。那这里用到 until 这个字，意思是直到、等到。until 这个字用法还有另外一种，例如强调句 ，It was not until 怎么样怎么样 that。例如 ，It was not until ten o'clock that I went to school. 我直到十点钟呢才去学校。这表示一直做某件事情，直到某一个时间。这个呢有另外一个句子 ，I lived in Taichung until I was twelve years old. 这句就是说我一直住住在 Taichung， 直到我十二岁为止。So back to our sentence. San Diego also says his catch is amazing. That's right. That's how he thinks of it. What an amazing catch! The word "amazing" describes something that makes you go, "Wow, this is so cool!" Sometimes you can't even believe it's real. Firework displays are amazing. Seeing a great big fish is amazing. If 
aliens from another planet landed on Earth, that would be amazing. Wow, it sure will be amazing. 这个形容词就是惊人的意思。变成形容词的话，就是 amazed， 后面可以加上 that。例如 ，We were amazed that he agreed so quickly. 他那么快就答应了，这使我们大为惊奇。However, it won't be easy for San Diego, though. That's right. I mean, he's killed the fish, but、mm. now he's got to get it back to land. And we see that soon after, sharks smell the marlin's blood and follow the boat. Oh no! Yeah, sharks have got this amazing ability. If there's blood in the water,、mm-hmm. they can smell it, and they go, "There's food." Over I go. So they start following Santiago's boat.、Mm. Let's take a look at the word follow. F O L L O W, follow, which is a verb, and our next word power word. Let's find out about it. The word follow means to go after something or someone. If you don't know where to go and someone else does, you follow them. They go first, and you walk behind them. Maybe a police car would follow another car to see what it was doing, or to chase it if they know there are bad guys in the car. If you want to take somebody somewhere, you say, "Follow me." Walk behind me. Here's an example sentence: The dog walked behind James and followed him all the way to his house. The dog walked behind James and followed him all the way to his house. Follow 就是跟随、紧跟着的意思。课文例句说呢，这只狗跟在 James 后面，而且一路跟着他回家。Something happens at the moment when San Diego kills the marlin. 文章说呢，不久之后，鲨鱼闻到这个枪与血的味道，就紧跟着圣地亚哥的船了。Oh no! These sharks want to eat the marlin before San Diego get it can get it home. That's right, and we see in the article that San Diego tries to fight them off, but They eat the marlin.、Oh. To fight someone or something off means to use force and weapons to keep things away from you or something of your own. For example, if a lion killed a zebra and some other animals came to try and eat the zebra, the lion would fight them off.、Mm-hmm. Santiago, he's maybe hitting the sharks with his fishing rod or his harpoon or the oars on his boat or something. To force them to go away and stop them eating his marlin. However, as we see from the article, it didn't work.、Mm, what a pity! Here, say Saint Diego tries to defeat these sharks, but they still eat the hook. Here, we use the phrase to defeat somebody or something off, to defeat or to stop. 抵抗或是击退某人或某件事物。如果你要形容击退敌人一次又一次的进攻，你可以说 fighting off repeated enemy attacks。那如果你要形容呢，像呃治愈感冒啊，或是驱除疲劳、疲劳感，你可以这么说 fight off a cold, fight off a feeling of tiredness。所以这个片语可以用在不同的地方。So what happens next? Well, we see in our story that Santiago only brings the fish's giant bones back.、Mm. Now we have a couple of word power words to look at here, and the first one is giant. G I A N T. Giant. This is an adjective. Let's find out what this word means and how we can use it. Something that's giant is really big, very tall, very large, very long. But just big in general. Taipei 101 is a giant building. Elephants are giant animals. Basketball players are often giant human beings. Here's another example. Look at that giant dog. It's nearly as big as a horse. Look at that giant dog. It's nearly as big as a horse. Giant 名词的时候呢，是巨人的意思。像杰克与豌豆里面出现的巨人，而 giant 当形容词的时候，指的是巨大的、巨人般的意思。Giant 还可以用在形容智力超群的伟人，例如 Shakespeare is a literary giant。莎士比亚是一位大文豪。课文例句说：“看那只巨大的狗，它几乎跟马一样大了。” Because the marlin was eaten by the sharks, 
，圣地亚哥呢，他只能把这只枪鱼的巨大骨头带回家，有一点像战利品的感觉 ，like a trophy. The other word we need to look at is bones. That's right. He only has the marlin's bones. The word bone, b o n e, bone is a noun, and it's the final word power word for today. Let's take a look. Our bones are the hard things inside our bodies that give us our shape and what our muscles are attached to. Now, if we die, most of our bodies disappear quite quickly, but the bones stay for a long time. Here's an example sentence. Alan broke a bone in his hand when he fell off his bike. Alan broke a bone in his hand when he fell off his bike. Bone 就是骨头。Uh, like we human beings, adults have two hundred or six bones. 同学们有听过吗 ？Skeleton 这个单字哦，就是骨骼。那你说 bone 跟 skeleton 的关系是什么呢 ？Skeleton is the human body that is made up of the individual bones. For example,、mm-hmm. if you have many bone,、uh, you have many bones in your body, and your skeleton is made up of many bones. 看我的例句说。Alan 从脚踏车上面摔下来，把手的一块骨头摔断了。Back to our article. So maybe people won't believe that San Diego caught the marlin. They might just, uh, they might think he just found the bones. Well, possibly, but in fact, we see that he is very tired, so he doesn't tell anyone the story about the marlin. 文章说啊，他非常累了，所以呢，他没有告诉任何人有关枪鱼的故事。What? No one will know what he did. Poor Santiago. We see that next in the article. Manolin sees Santiago and brings him coffee and a newspaper. 下一句说，马诺林看到圣地亚哥回来了，就帮他端了一杯咖啡，还有一份报纸来。Does San Diego tell him the story? The article says. Santiago falls asleep and dreams of lions on、uh, at play on a beach. <laughs> There you go. To fall asleep is to go from being awake to being asleep. Falling asleep is great, but don't do it while you're at work, at school, or driving. 嗯，文章接着说，圣地亚哥睡着了，并且梦到狮子们在海滩上玩耍。Falls asleep 就是入睡。例如 ，he fell asleep as soon as he went to bed. 如果你要形容安然入睡，你可以说 fall sound asleep. And in San Diego's dream, the lions are at play. At play basically means the same as playing. If the children are at play, they're playing a game and having fun. 嗯 ，at play 的意思和 playing 一样，指的是在玩耍。I wonder why San Diego dreams of lions. Ah,、uh, well, I had a look, and if you read the book, he, you find out he's dreaming of his childhood and where he、mm. lived.、Uh, so maybe this is the idea that he's happy now. He's got his luck back. He's、mm. beat the fish, and if he's happy, he's dreaming of his happy childhood and playing and so on.、Mm. But anyway, that is the end of the Old Man and the Sea. So let's go to today's magic box first, and then we'll. It's time for our final review time activity for this article. Magic box, 找亮点 Hello, 大家好，我是 Isaac。最近啊，因为追剧的关系，我每天回家的例行公事呢，就是洗完澡，然后就躺在床上，然后大概嗯，看三集的影集吧。像我前天呢，看完那个英国的影集《黑镜》呢，大概看完之后大概两点才睡。I watched three episodes of a Black Mirror until 2 a.m. the day before yesterday. 看完隔天呢，工作整个人非常的旺盛。奉劝大家呢，要早点睡，才不会像我一样上班打瞌睡哦。好啦，那今天要来教大家 until 的用法。Until 呢，可以当做介系词以及连接词。都是表示到点点点时，或者是直到点点点的时候。只不过因为词性不同的关系，后面要加的东西也不一样哦。首先，假如 until 是当做介系词的话，后面则是要加上一个名词。那我们来举个例子吧。I slept until 10 a.m. yesterday. 我昨天睡到十点才起床。那这边的 10 a.m. 就是名词接在介系词 until 之后，当做受格哦。
。那如果 until 是当做一个连接词的时候，后面则是要接上一个完整的句子。比如说 ，We should wait until Bennett is here。我们应该要等到 Bennett 来到这边。或者 ，I watch TV until my mom comes home。我看电视呢，直到我妈妈回家。大家真的是要写完功课才可以这样做，不然真的是会被妈妈狠狠的修理一番。这边呢，我们用到了 until 加上 Bennett is here， 或者是 My mom comes home， 用连接词来连接前后两个句子。最后，让我们一起来练习看看 until 的用法吧。假如我要说，我昨天写作业直到晚上九点，这句话的英文该怎么说呢 ？The answer is. I did my homework until 9 p.m. yesterday. 你答对了吗？ Wait for it! It's review time. 复习时间到喽。Okay, now in this three-day article, we've had twelve word power words. How many can you remember? We're going to test each other by giving the definitions of the word powers and trying to remember. Which words match them? For example,、mm -hmm. this word means to trap some kind of animal so that you can eat it or keep it. To catch. That's right. You want to give、mm -hmm. me one? Okay.、Um, someone with a lot of knowledge about something, and、okay. they're really good at this particular skill. Ah, because they. I remember Manolin. They said, "Don't go to Santiago. He's、mm. not a good." Master. Master, he doesn't have the skills.、Mm -hmm. Okay, here's another one. This is an adjective, and it means you believe in yourself. You think I'm great. I'm going to do this thing. I I'm good enough. I've got all the skills. Confident. Yes, you are confident. <laughs> okay. Ah,、uh, okay. Picture this. You don't have anyone around you. Okay. You are on your own. You are、okay. all by yourself. You are doing something alone. Yes. That is right. Okay, now this is a verb, and it means to、uh, move a boat by getting the wind behind a big piece of cloth.、Mm -hmm. Sail. Yes, you would sail something. Okay, you got okay. another. Okay, let me see. Okay,、uh, to attach one thing to another, usually you use it with a rope、oh, or、right. a string yes, or yes. something else like that. You tie it together. Yes. Okay. Here's another one to give you. This、uh, somebody is walking, and you're walking behind them. What are you doing? Follow. Yeah, you are following them.、Mm. Okay, that is all the time we have right now. Let's、uh, say goodbye to you guys. Thanks for staying with us for this three-day article for A Plus English. I'm Pat. I'm Kathy. We'll talk to you again soon. Bye bye. Bye. The old man and the sea. Warm-up question: Did you ever do something difficult by yourself? What did you do? After three days of fighting, the marlin gets tired. Santiago pulls it close and kills it with a harpoon. He thinks, "My bad luck is finally over. Wait until everyone sees my amazing catch." Soon after. Sharks smell the marlin's blood and follow the boat. Santiago tries to fight them off, but they eat the marlin. Santiago only brings the fish's giant bones back. He is very tired, so he doesn't tell anyone the story about the marlin. Manolin sees Santiago and brings him coffee and a newspaper. Santiago falls asleep and dreams of lions at play on a beach. Finally, finally, Kelly finished all of her homework. Finally, she could take a break. Kelly finished all of her homework. Finally, she could take a break. Follow, follow. The dog walked behind James. And followed him all the way to his house. The dog walked behind James and followed him all the way to his house. Giant, giant. 
Look at that giant dog! It's nearly as big as a horse. Look at that giant dog! It's nearly as big as a horse. Bone, bone. Alan broke a bone in his hand when he fell off his bike. Alan broke a bone in his hand when he fell off his bike. 认识智慧 Harpoon. Amazing.